Hi, and welcome to this short video where I'm going to walk you through the general tips and fundamental facts that you'll need to know when submitting a P11D return. So let's jump right into it. What is a P11D return? A P11D return is an end of year submission that an employer will have to make to HMRC at the end of a given tax year. So who needs to complete a P11D submission? Ultimately, it is down to the employer to make the submissions on behalf of the individuals. However, as some guidance, any company director and employee earning a rate of £8,500 or more will need to make a submission in a P11D, providing they are receiving any expense payments or benefits in kind throughout the year. So what is an expense payment and a benefit in kind? An expense payment is a cost that an employee or director will incur whilst performing their work duties that will be reimbursed to them by the company throughout the year. Some common examples of this will be travel costs, subsistence, and any entertainment expenses as well. And a benefit in kind will be a monetary or non-monetary reward that is given to the director or employee on top of their basic salary. The value of which these benefits are calculated can differ However, the most common examples that you will find will be company cars, loans made out to employees or directors, or any private healthcare costs that are covered by the company. So now we know what a P11D is and some of the contents within it, when is the submission actually due? A P11D return will need to be filed to HMRC by the 6th of July following the end of the tax year. So for example, if the tax year is 2014-15, which ends on the 5th of April 2015, then the P11D for that year will need to be submitted by the 6th of July 2015. So once the P11D return has actually been submitted, what does that ultimately mean? Do we have to pay any income tax or national insurance? Well, benefits in kind are taxable, so depending on your level of income, there may be income tax due on these. However, only certain benefits in kind are liable for Class 1A national insurance contributions. This will be due for payment by the 19th of July following the submission. Also, in addition to this, the director or employees will have to pay income tax on these benefits they've received. Now, this will be done either via the payroll that they receive each month or through a self-assessment submission. So finally, what happens if we miss the filing deadline? Well, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that HMRC will look to send out fines and penalties if you have missed the submission deadline. This amount will be £100 for every month or even part of the month where the submission is late. In addition, if you are required to pay Class 1A national insurance contributions, then if you are late paying this amount, then HMRC will look to accrue interest on this amount as well. So submitting the P11D return is one of many tasks you will have to undertake when being a director of your own limited company and running your own business. If you want further information and assistance on running your own business, we have many guides on our website for free that you can check out at crunch.co.uk forward slash guides. Alternatively, you can call one of our advisors who are always on hand to help should you want to know more about the services that Crunch provides. Thank you for watching this video.